You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have prosthodontist Dr. Ronald Sembersky. Dr. Sembersky, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. It's, uh, it's nice to be here. Now, your patients call you Dr. Ron. Is yeah. that what you want me to call you? Oh, you can call me whatever you want to call me. Okay. Dr. Ron is fine. All right. Now, and I know you brought a lot of photos, so we'll get to as many of those as possible. Now, for people that don't know your practice, like who's the typical implant patient that you see? Well, Randy, for dental implants, we, we get patients who come in just for one or two implants um, if they need that. But the people that we can really help the most are people who are, they have a lot of teeth that are failing. And they're, 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 what I mean by failing is that they, they have maybe bleeding gums or they have pain. Um, they've had teeth removed and they may be embarrassed about their, their smile, they have bad breath, um, lots of different symptoms that people who have failing teeth have. And, um, and, and that's one group of people that we have. And one of the things that they, they really don't want is a denture. They know that they're headed for a denture, but they, they don't want to have a full denture. Okay. So that's why they come. All right. And the second group of people that, that come um, but it's a little bit more difficult for them to, to get them to know about us are people who already have dentures and are struggling with dentures. Now you say you can help those people the most. What do you mean? Well, we can help them because we have, um, using dental implants, we can give them teeth back that are, are not removable teeth. So in other words, there are, there are dental implant therapies that have the snap in and snap out and they do have some value and we do do those for you know in some instances where they're indicated but um, there is the implant therapy that has teeth that are stationary teeth we call it uh, fixed meaning that it, it actually stays stationary in the mouth so a full set of teeth that don't come out a full set of teeth I mean, that's what everybody wants obviously right yeah who wouldn't how soon can they eat i mean after it's all done what how soon can they eat food oh they can eat right away as soon as the the teeth are implanted in in the mouth stationary they can eat whatever they want whenever they want with whomever they want now are, are, are there a lot of people where you are like wearing an upper lower denture you know or in the state i mean there's got to be a lot of people yeah you, you'd actually be surprised how many people are wearing dentures um, you wouldn't know because people aren't advertising that they're wearing dentures. And, um, and you know, you may not even be able to tell what this is a good set of dentures. Like in your county, like thousands? Yeah, in, in our county, um, uh, we, have a, we actually have an arena there. And uh, that arena holds about 7,000 people. It's the Broome County Memorial Arena. And that arena, we could fill with, just in our area, we could fill it about two to three times over just with people who are missing all of their teeth. Wow. Yeah, it's a big problem, and, uh, and it's a really big problem because those teeth, um, dentures I'm speaking of, they're not attached to anything. And, and you know, teeth, when you have your teeth, yeah. my teeth, are attached. They're attached to the jawbone, and they move around, and we have complete control over them. But dentures aren't attached. In fact, I, I had a, a teacher who always used to say that dentures are not a replacement for teeth they are a replacement for no teeth. And that's because it's a, it's a true disability when people okay. have a denture. You know, they, they have to try to move the dentures with their mouth and the dentures are always moving. Look, I know a couple of denture wearers. Never complain about anything to me. Are you saying that there's no such thing as maybe a happy denture wearer? Well, you know, there are a few. I don't know what the percentage is, but I will say that they're not complaining to you. Because okay. they, they come to me and they complain all right, to me. Fair. Yeah, and uh, and they tell me about all of their their problems with the dentures. I mean, they cover the roof of the mouth. They can't taste things the way they used to. They they may be gagging, um, you know, because the denture goes way back onto the the soft part of the palate, and it can trigger the gag response. Um, the big thing is is food. They you know dentures actually only chew with twenty percent the chewing efficiency of natural teeth. So. When they're, when they're chewing and trying to chew, they're, they're kind of mashing the food around. So they have right? to- so it's kind of like just rubbing the food. It, it just moves it around. And, it, and they're, they're, it's not great for digestion because they're swallowing bigger chunks of food and they're, they're just not able to grind it up the way you and I can. So what happens with these people is they end up modifying their diet. 
And, and that affects them in a lot of different like ways. Like what? You mean soft foods? Yeah, like they'll have to have like a, a mashed potato diet, we'll say. Like, you know, and it's not just mashed potatoes, but anything they could put in a blender or anything that's soft that they can eat without chewing. And um, that's easy to go down. So that's, that's one of the things that a lot of denture people struggle with. So when these people come in and you give them a brand new set of teeth, locked in, supported by dental implants, I mean, they could eat like a steak or like a carrot with their front teeth, or they have to take it easy on certain things? They can eat anything that you and I can eat. Okay. So they, they really can. Um, once they're stationary and in there, they can eat anything. They're, they're very durable teeth. So I, I wanted to tell you about the day in the life of a denture wearer. Okay. Because you know, we know that the teeth are moving around, and, and that affects people in a, in a, you know, it affects them deeply in a All profound right. way. And uh, so if they do what they're told to do by the, their dentist and even by prosthodontists, and when they wake up in the morning, they take their dentures out of a glass because they shouldn't be sleeping with the dentures in the mouth. And then, so they take them out and then they have to put them in. And most denture wearers need to use adhesive. So they have to glob on the adhesive. They're tasting the adhesive. It makes their mouth taste funny, dry. And then they go out about their day. And, and socially, they may be hiding their mouth or hiding the Do fact they that they this? have dentures. Do they tell you this, like on the consults? They'll tell me, but they don't tell everyone else. It's a little secret that so they have. So they're very have. insecure they're, about their dentures. They are very insecure. And, uh, and then they'll go out with their friends, and their friends will invite them to go out to dinner, or you know, you know, maybe they play golf or something, and they, it's time to go eat. And, and they may go, and if they go, they're not ordering what they want to eat. They're ordering what they can eat. Interesting, okay. Yeah, they, they, so that's, that's what they have, they have to modify everything. And some of them just make excuses and they don't even show up. They, you know, oh, they, they, they don't, don't like feel to eat well. with people. They don't want to eat in front of people because, right. yeah, they're very self-conscious. Wow. Now, well, okay, so if dental implants are so good and there's so many people, as you say, that are either headed to dentures or wearing a denture, why aren't they all doing it? Why aren't they all coming in to get implants? That's a great question. And, and you know, this is my take on it. This is what I think. Okay. I, I think that, you know, when people had dentures, they, uh, when they get dentures, they, they started off with teeth that were, you know, bad or, or loose. Um, they had maybe their teeth were shifting. They had gum disease, bleeding gums, um, bad breath. And a lot of them, they, they couldn't wait to get rid of these teeth. So they got rid of the teeth and they, they got dentures. And that may have given them some temporary relief, but you know, and I know, that dentures are not a replacement for teeth. Okay. So, um, but then they're out of the system. So they're not coming to the dentist, and they're not hearing about these advances that we have with dental implants, that we can do something that's much better. So, so they don't I, even know their options. They don't even know. They don't even know that it, it's possible. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, um, so that's, that's one of the things. So the denture people, they have memories of when they used to have their teeth and when things weren't, you know, things were going downhill with their teeth. So what they remember is that they would go and, and take care of a tooth or maybe have to have a tooth removed or have a root canal. And, um, and these were like temporary fixes and seemed like patchwork. And, and they remember the expense. And it's like more and money, more and more money being poured into their mouth, and the mouth was failing. So the last thing they want to do is go see you, right? Is that right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Because they feel like this is going to cost a fortune. Because they also count their teeth, and they say, "Wait a second. Now, dental implants. I need. I'm, I'm missing all of my teeth. So therefore, I must need a, a tooth and dental implant for every tooth." And, and they add it up, and in their minds, this is going to be very expensive. So that's a, another reason. You say like just come. five implants, and they can get a, a whole set of teeth that are fixed that don't come out. Yeah, five, that right? five implants, and they can get a full arch, dental arch of teeth. Yep, one jaw. Nice. How old can you be to do this? Uh, how old do you think people need to be? I don't know. Yeah, so they, you can be any age. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Age is really not a, a barrier. What's your oldest patient? 
Uh, the oldest patient that I personally did was in the 90s, early 90s. 90 years old? In the 90s, Why would they yeah. want to do that at 90? Why wouldn't they implants? want to do it? I mean, they want to have teeth, just like you have teeth, I have teeth. They want to smile. They want to be self-confident. It's not just about eating and chewing, although, you know, for some people it is. But, you know, teeth give people an identity. It makes them feel good about themselves when they smile. Smile's very important. Now, what about the, the denture wear that's been in the denture for like 15, 20 years? Isn't it true that you don't have enough bone to do it? What that, do you do with these people? Yeah, that's actually not true, Randy. The, um, it, we hear this a lot. I have a lot of patients who come in and they say that they, they've even been told that they haven't, you know, they don't have enough bone By to do it. By another dentist? By another dentist, yeah. Okay. And, and it may be true that for a certain type of implant or a certain position of putting the implant, that it's true, they didn't have enough bone for a, a certain way of doing implants. But the way we do it, it's rare that we can't do it. And even in a case that we wouldn't be able to do it right away, we still could. It would just take a little, little bit longer. We'd have to do some, um, some therapies where we grow bone. We can okay. actually grow bone. It just takes a, a little bit longer than, than the usual. I had a gentleman come in with his wife, and he's the patient, but she wants him to have a fixed set of teeth with implants. And the reason that she wants him to have it is because she wasn't able to do it, because she's been told that she's not a candidate for implants, and she has dentures that she can barely wear. She said that she went to New York City and went to four different dentists, and all of them said that's no way she can have implants. Because she doesn't have enough bone? Because she doesn't have enough bone. Okay. So. I said, listen, when we finish this reviewing the scan, we could take a scan and I could just, just to verify, I'll give you a fifth opinion and tell okay, you if I think okay. that, that you could or couldn't do it. And she said, but I already know I can't. I said, well, we'll just take a look. Okay. And uh, so we, we convinced her she did the scan. And, um, and it, with, you know, only to be able to tell her whether, you know, she had good opinions or whether there's a new way. And, uh, and it turned out that there was enough bone to put implants where we need to, to do a fixed set of teeth. And uh, so she's elated. We, this just happened recently. Okay. And, uh, and I think that she's actually going to do it. What about the husband? For sure he's doing it? For sure he's doing it. And, uh, so and if he's wearing a denture, you're gonna give him brand new teeth? Gonna, gonna give them brand new teeth. And uh, I think both of them are set up. They were, they were away for the, the winter and they're coming back soon and, uh, and now you brought ready photos. to what go. What are we looking at over there? Oh yeah, I've got some photos here. Um, okay. This is, uh, this is a, a patient named Don. Okay. And, and Don came to me and he, has, um, he had an interesting story because he spent his whole life with a bad bite. And with his bad bite, his, his teeth weren't aligned and it caused his teeth to wear. And he said he's never been happy with his teeth. So he came in and wanted to know what his options were. And he did have options. And so what we did for Don was we, we decided that we couldn't save the teeth to give him what he wanted. Okay. And so what we ended up doing was we put him into teeth that were stationary with implants. And okay. in just a short period of time, <laughs> looks he, good. Yeah, he 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 is thrilled, and it has changed his whole demeanor and how he relates to other people. He he reports of having so much more confidence in in his smile and in his way of being, and and he's someone who is very personable and and deals with the public regularly. So he he couldn't be happier with this You know, this we team. talked on the phone and you were telling me, you said, you know, Randy, and I'm paraphrasing you, but that a smile is more attractive than a pout. I mean, he looks more handsome in the after than he does on the before. In a way, he almost doesn't even look like the same guy, right? Yeah. I think anybody could agree with that. Yeah, I mean, you, it, it doesn't take much. Mean? Just if, even if you look at his eyes, the eyes are different. Yeah. Um, in how he's smiling. What do they say when they see themselves in the mirror the first time? Oh, you know, I actually have a, a video of someone too I, I want to show you who, um, and you'll get to see, but they see themselves for the first time in the mirror. They, the, the people, they don't know what to think because <laughs> they haven't seen themselves with teeth like this in years. And, um, and a lot of times it's, it's actually, it brings up emotions. I mean, they, 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 it'll be tearful. Like, you know, they'll be fighting back the tears 
and the smiles at the same time. <laughs> it's a, they they don't they don't know what to think, and it's uh it's because it's like a brand new start, like it's a fresh start. Nice. The the slate is wiped clean, and this is the first day of their new life with their new teeth. Okay, this next one. All right. And he came in, and he had. A, a, he was actually referred to me by another dentist. So we get a lot of referrals from other dentists. And, um, and the dentist just wasn't sure what to do with him because he had so many problems. And he was, he, he was suffering with not only pain, but inability to chew. And, and what comes out of it is also he was concerned about his smile. But that wasn't his, his chief Main complaint. thing was chewing. Yeah, that was okay. the main thing. Um, but as you can see, if you just, you know, you, we only need the lower part to see. He had a beard. He was hiding. He was hiding something. And that's what, that's what people tend to do is they, they hide behind something else when they, when they have something that's really bothering them, like their teeth. So you couldn't save those teeth. Like this guy would have had a denture. This, this guy was headed, heading towards a denture. Okay. I mean, it was going to be a denture or implants. And uh, there, there was no saving the teeth. So what we ended up doing was a mouthful of fixed teeth on dental implants. And looks we, great. The guy looks good. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's amazing because even just you know he came in. We didn't ask him to shave his beard, but he trimmed his beard down. He came in. He's a whole new personality. I mean, was it hard for you to recognize the guy? Because I, I mean, it, if somebody's yeah. watching this, I mean, you could see. He looks different. Listen, Randy, this happens all the time. I walk down the hall and I don't recognize the patients because I'm so used to them without the, their hybrids or without their fixed teeth. They have these, uh, you know, whatever condition I met them in. And then when they're all done, um, their, their whole face changes because they're smiling, they're lit up. They, they walk around the office, they're, they're making noise that they weren't <laughs> making before. We, yeah, they, 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 they're like, like very um so their personality change personality like charisma yeah. or Char something is back charisma absolutely the charisma that you see in someone who's smiling so here's another one this this is pat pat came to me and she had problems with her teeth actually loosening um and and we did some temporary fixes for her just to keep her going but her options she was headed towards needing to lose all of her teeth so it was going to be a denture or something stationary with implants, which she really wanted to do, and, and she did. And, uh, and do they I, actually say that? Do they say, look, I want new teeth that don't come out? Like, what are they, what's their lingo? Like, what do they say yeah, on the they, console? They, they actually usually say, I just don't want a denture. Like, okay. please, I don't want a denture. They've, they've heard things wow. from other people that they know that have dentures that are slipping and sliding and sloshing around the mouth, and they just don't want to have a denture. So. That's, and then they come to me, like, that's the big problem is like, can you save my teeth? Because by there reputation, something they do? know you as the guy, that, the implant guy, right? Yes. Okay. So they, they may have heard or they may have come to a seminar. We, we have a, a monthly seminar where we educate people on dental implants. All right. And, um, and, and actually, um, since having her work done, Pat is so happy that she's even come and, and spoken at our seminar. Because right? she wants she other good. people. Yeah, she wants people to know because she deals with the public. And, uh, and, and she said, actually, I just spoke to her on the phone. And she was telling me that, like, this is one of the best things that she's ever done. That she feels so confident when she talks to people now. And, and you know, she's always liked talking to people. But it, because it's required that she talks to people, she feels so much better now. It's, it's like legit, real. Okay. It's like her inner smile is out right here with everyone she's with. Is this one of those things where they say, I, I should have done this years ago? That's, you know, we hear this all the time from people. There's a few things that we hear, and one of them is, I wish I had known about this sooner. Are most of these people like uh, using some sort of sedation? Like obviously you're numbing them up, but what are you doing for sedation? Yeah, so when, when we do the procedures, actually most of the the work that we do doesn't even require Novocaine. There's only one part that does, and when we do that, um, that would be when we remove the teeth and put the implants in. What we have the patients typically do, if they choose to, is to have a sedation, because we do 
uh, minimal sedation with it's it's orally meaning they take okay. some pills and we use some nitrous oxide gas and most of them I, I would say all of them who do it feel like they you know wasn't bad at all because the really we're numbing them too and it's the numbing is all okay. that people really need but to manage the fear and the anxiety the sedation is great okay good we're gonna take a quick break we come back more about the process what people can expect on day one. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez, we'll be right back. There you go, <laughs> get out of the way here. Okay, here we go. There. I oh, got they teeth. Look good. I got teeth and I can talk and I can chew and it, they just feel great. They look great. Thank you. you. See them. They Thank you great. very, very much. Five years of fussing around is finally Finally come to something I can tolerate and, mm -hmm. and I enjoy. Thank you. Very, very much. All of you. Oh, I'm out. This is awesome. You look great. Oh, it's wonderful. Me too. It's great. Thank what do you, you think? What's your first what's Oh your my first God, question? it just feels so weird and it just looks great. Really, way better than what I had, for sure. And the, the, no more bulk. Yeah, nice and white. Yes. Maybe it'll taste that, food now. Exactly. <laughs> Not only that, but it's um, they're so much whiter, so much brighter, for sure. You're watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic: replacing missing teeth with dental implants. Uh, Dr. Sembersky says nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. We're talking about dental implants today. Uh, he's an expert on the topic, prosthodontist. Uh, Dr. Ron, welcome back uh, to the program. And you have a lot of Thank photos. You. I don't want to rush you, but we have a, only a few more minutes left. Um, so, so what else are we looking at? Okay, so real quickly, here is, uh, this is Jeff. Okay. And Jeff is a golfer, and he was, you know, he was very concerned about being able to golf through the process and doing all of that. Now, he came to me knowing that his, his teeth were bad. Like, that was what he said. His teeth were bad. And he had been to a seminar, so he already wanted to know if he could have a fixed set of teeth. So the first thing we do, because not everybody gets one, not everyone So you couldn't is, save those teeth? Like, those had to be so, removed? So that, that's the first thing we do. Is It's not um, that everyone who comes and says that they want to have this is necessarily a candidate. Some people come in and say, you know, oh, I want to have this done, but I say your teeth are good and okay, there's no okay. reason to do this. All right, so all that's, right. you know, that's not the only thing that we do. Um, but in his case, it turned out that there wasn't really going to be a good option for him other than going to a denture or something um, that was stationary with implants. So he wanted to have something fixed in his mouth that was important. And we did that and as a result, wow. he's telling me this is one of the best things that he's ever done in his life. And he has so much more self-confidence now than he had before. And that he was so happy that he had options because he had been to other places, but he just didn't get the options that he wanted. So it doesn't matter how old you are. It it's doesn't matter. A, it's just a challenge to get them in to find, hear their options. Yeah, and, and speaking of age, I, I do wanna show you okay. this. About, about a minute left. This one here is interesting now that's just a smile but if you take a look at that smile randy how old do you think that person is on the left uh late 60s 70s yeah so it it kind of looks that way because when someone has gum disease and their teeth are starting to splay and they're getting darker and there's spaces between the teeth and you can see all of that it does make the mouth look older but this patient here is actually in her mid 40s and if wow. you look on the left, now restored, um, she after. probably, yeah, yeah, what do you think on the, in the after? Looks like a young smile again. It looks like a young smile. So like, it's like a pretty set of lips. I mean, it's a pretty smile. Yeah, and if you can imagine that and then put a face around that, it's amazing. Like it changes the whole face. Uh, we probably have time for one more photo, maybe two more photos. We've got about a minute left. Okay, well, let me try to show you these last two okay. quickly. This is Luella, and Luella came to me. Now, she was in her later 70s, and she said she wanted to have you know this done, that she's never had a good smile. Her teeth were breaking down, and, and for her, it was about the smile. And if you look at her smile, 
like we could barely get her to smile. Like that was a forced smile. And then afterwards, you see, we made a very age appropriate mouth for her teeth. With you the know, color and everything. With the color. It looks it, good. It blends in really well. And the thing that I like the best is look at her smile. Like her whole face is smiling. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's what I, I love about this photo. And they can eat whatever they want. Like she, she can, can just eat whatever. Yeah, she can eat anything she wants. So the, the, the people that come for smiling, they get to eat whatever they want, and, and they love that as a side benefit. The people that come because they want to chew, they get to smile and have people tell them how great their smile is. Okay, good. Time for one more of, of, of your pros, because I know you want to show those. Okay, so here's a patient named Michael, and, uh, and so Mike came in, and, and his teeth were, were wearing down. He had a lot of wear, and, and he was having pain with his teeth, and just very uncomfortable. And now he has his fixed teeth in his mouth. So no dentures for this guy. No dentures. And when we spoke to, to Mike last week, he said, you know, the greatest thing is he doesn't have sensitivity anymore. There's no more discomfort. So having those implants seem very, very natural. Okay, good. And, and, and what, what do they like the most? Do they like that they could smile or do they like that they can eat? Well, you know, again, it's the, the people that came wanting a smile they they like that they can smile that's what they came for and it's a pleasant surprise they love what they can eat and it opens up whole new avenues for them and the people that came in to be able to eat better they end up finding out that they really like the smile now you're a specialist does it cost more to go to a specialist you know it, it actually doesn't have to and uh, especially for this type of implant treatment because we've spent a lot of time trying to get the fees so that people can afford them. You know, 15 years ago, when we were doing this and we're doing it by a more conventional way, mm -hmm. this same treatment cost twice as much. Okay. But, but using the hybrid system, and um, it, we've, we've gotten the cost down for people. Now we should mention, even the best dental insurance does not cover this. Uh, Medicaid, Medicare doesn't cover implants at all but you finance it, is that right? Yeah, I mean, there are different ways that people can finance it, and um, oftentimes people will get their own loans because they can get their interest rates the, okay. the, the best that way, but um, people do finance it, and it is affordable for most people who wanna have this done. Okay, good, and final message, somebody watching this, maybe they're one of the two main categories, their teeth are really bad, and they don't even know their options, or the denture wearers watching this, They've heard you, but maybe they're still afraid or they're still skeptical. What do you say to them? Well, for, for people who are still afraid or nervous to come in, um, I say come in to a seminar and come meet our staff. Come meet, okay. come meet we, we, you know, one of the things that we hear from a lot of the patients too is how welcoming and friendly the staff was and that the process was good. Okay, good. Not just the result. Okay, good. I want, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Good stuff. And they can see these, uh, these uh, before and afters on your website. Make an appointment there. Do you do your own appointments? They can see you on the consultation? They, they absolutely will see me on the, on the first appointment. Okay, yes. good. Thanks again. Thank you for having me. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.